read BBS, BBS. Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Tell her, BC, yo. So, uh, Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua, excuse me, versus Dandy Andy Ruiz, two. Or should I say Dandy Andy Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua, two. However you wish to word it, it's uh, on the table for December 7th in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Uh, okay, so $40 million site fee. $40 million site fee. I can't front on that. That was way more than he was going to get anywhere else. Eddie Hearn, I'm speaking of, reportedly $40 million. Uh, sight fees matter, man. Sight fees matter. Thick thighs, they save lives. And sight fees put promoters at ease. That's the world in which we live in. So we can't be mad at this. Uh, every promoter is shady. Every promoter is looking at their bank account before they're looking at the bank account of their fighters. So I don't want to just dogpile Eddie Hearn. That would be too easy in this instance. Plenty of fights have happened abroad. Uh, people like to throw. I've seen people throwing Ali Foreman the rumble in the jungle into this mix. But in the cases of Ali, when he fought abroad, those were still major events, and the crowd was heavily involved, heavily involved. This wasn't like Tyson and Douglas, which was, a, which was in Asia, and the crowd was very silent and docile and just uh, – you know, that was their culture. That They were being who they were. It just wasn't fitting for the occasion, in my opinion. Uh, Lennox Lewis versus Hasim Rahman won. When L Lennox got knocked out, they tried to recreate the Ali Foreman thing, and it just wasn't there in terms of uh, j just different culture, man. You know, you bring in two well-known fighters who primarily fight in America to this other spot and don't expect the crowd to be necessarily how you want them to be. And with that said, speaking of atmosphere, speaking of crowd participation, uh, fan appreciation, things of that sort, are you really trying to uh, do Sweet Caroline? Sweet Caroline in Saudi Arabia? Uh, Saudi Arabia? Really? Oh, no, no. I don't think I would. I don't think I would. Joshua Ruiz 2, Ruiz Joshua 2, that is a fight for the UK, MSG, Vegas, period, period. It's one of those fights. Nonetheless, uh, it's a money grab for Eddie Hearn. So your guy already didn't look good in his first fight outside of his comfortable surroundings. So what do you do? You sign him up for an immediate rematch against the guy who beat him in uncomfortable surroundings. And now he's going to fight in another place he's never fought in before. That's a, that's, that's a brilliant tactic, Eddie Hearn. Can't wait to see how that plays out for you, sir. Uh, don't think it's going to go. Well, I don't even know if he cares anymore, but I think he's setting Joshua up for failure. We'll see how the guys look as we get closer and closer. I don't think there's any way Joshua could be confident going into this, though. Uh, he could have gotten some level of that had the fight been – at Wembley or Cardiff Wales, one of those stadiums that Joshua usually fights in. But it is what it is, man. It seems like it's going to happen. Uh, there's been a bit of criticism in terms of Saudi Arabia's policies on women's rights and gay rights and whatnot. But to me, what country has that perfectly down? You know, show, show me the country that handles it with 100% uh, respect and dignity for those people, for the women in the LGBT community. Like, I don't know who gets it perfect. And I'm not saying I could get it perfect, but I don't know that we should necessarily use that. Oh, well, we shouldn't do it because of this. Especially if you live in an area where it's not 100%, you know, in your area also. And like Eddie Hearn gives a fuck any fucking way. He doesn't. He doesn't. On the topic of Saudi Arabia, Amir Khan has been outspoken. He just fought there not too long ago against Billy Dibb, of all people, where he made more money, considerably more money, fighting in Saudi Arabia against Dibb than he did when he quit against Terrence Crawford. 
Uh, I mentioned Khan to say this. He, he claims he saw women driving in Saudi Arabia. He said he saw plenty of women walking around without hijabs or any type of scarves or, you know, the customary cultural clothing that you see Muslim women uh, donning. Basically, he said it was a more, he didn't say this, but he was trying to sell it as a more westernized community which is fan friendly or should be accepting of having and hosting events over there. I mean, I get it. I get it. It is what it is. And promoters, they're going to sell out to the highest bidder. It's just this fight. UK, UK should have got first dibs. Should have got first dibs. Let Joshua fight where he's most comfortable. But this is yet another example, AJ, of your promoter selling you down the river. He's doing what's best for him, just as he did when he first signed the DAZN contract. When everybody, including yourself, was prepared to face Deontay Wilder to have an undisputed champion. After this fight, win or lose, you need to uh, think about readjusting some shit, bruh. Simple as that. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burp Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Tell them, BC, y'all. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.